You know, another thing that we haven't covered yet in any of these tutorials uh, has been the, uh, the playing sound effects because there was a problem with the sound effects in the last beta. It is now fixed. Now, I will tell you, and this is kind of important to know, in this interface where you can play back music and sound effects, the volume on these is really harsh and the sound effects are still playing really wonky because they don't observe pitch. Uh, the pitch changes and uh, there's some weird things going on with with their time however they do work when you compile so um, do, I wouldn't test your sound effects the goal is to get it so you can play the sound effects um, and, and and audition them so you can remember what they sound like or whatever don't do that I wouldn't recommend doing that you can you can try it out it's not gonna hurt anything wouldn't recommend doing that but they will compile correctly and you can see our other tutorials on how to make um, songs and sound effects using uh, family, uh, family Tracker and Gradual Game Sound Engine and import it directly into here. You can check that out in the other tutorials. But let's take a look at how to create sound effects. Um, I'm going to create a new code script. Uh, the, uh, I, you can look at other tutorials on how to add code scripts for like movement and things like that. I'm going to go to code scripts and I'm going to make a new script. And I'm going to put it in user scripts. And I'm just going to call it play sound effect um, code, something like that. And I'm gonna save it. And I'm gonna make sure to import it. So I'll play sound effect code. And right now there's nothing in play sound effect code. It's just an empty script. Um, I can see other things in these scripts. And usually most of them, and in fact, almost all of them are gonna end with RTS because this is actually a subroutine that that's jumping to. So I want to make sure that I'm returning from subroutine and all my code that I want to have happen is going to happen right here. So um, what do I want to have happen? Well, I'm going to go to my input editor and just when I'm on the start screen, uh, I'm going to make my A and B button play sound effects. I'll make B play the die sound effect. Or I'll make A play the wind sound effect. Um, and let's see, uh, on my start screen, I don't have to set a target. I can just hit null. And the script to run is going to be sound effect code. And so when I press B on the start screen, uh, it's going to play the sound effect. And I could add a, a second one of these that would be play sound effect two or whatever. I'm just going to do a real quick one right now. Um, so when I hit the B button, it's going to play a sound effect. Now, right now, I, it doesn't play a sound effect, but check out how easy it is to play a sound effect. All I'm going to put is play sound, and it needs two arguments. The first argument is what number sound effect do you want to play? So I'm going to have it play zero, comma, what uh, do you, what's the, um, high, what's the importance of this? Is it, it should it be in front of the other sound effects, or does it have a lower priority? Uh, I have always used zero for playing sound effects, um, which is the higher priority. So I'm going to play this sound effect and it should overwrite whatever sound effect is playing. It's kind of an immediate thing. And that's it. That's how I can play a sound effect. So for instance, when you create a projectile and you want to play that sound of shooting a projectile, this is all you have to write. This will play the die sound effect, which is kind of like a weird poof. It's kind of got this little almost explosion because that's what our death animation was. Um, so let's test this real quick. And we're, we're going to be fighting the uh, the start screen music a little bit. Um, I don't know what would happen. I'm going to test this out real quick. If I go to oh, um, special screens, I'm going to start screen. This might break it. If I put uh, stop music, that might break things. But let's let's try this out real quick. see if it didn't like that and I'm gonna go back to my sound because I turned it off okay good and now I'm gonna press my B button and that's my sound effect die that's my zero sound effect okay so if I want to play the other sound effect um, I could put a one in this first argument this means play sound number one which is win which is a nice little do -do 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 you know, something like that. Um, and that's all I have to change. And I'm going to export and test. Whoops. 
I hit the wrong button. I hit the start button. Sorry. That was the sound effect. I made the, that same thing happen when I hit the start button. Um, sorry. What I meant to do was this. So that's the win sound effect. So I, you know, I, I, you can imagine I could just put this code wherever I want a sound effect to play. So for instance, if I made a sound effect called shoot, SFX shoot, uh, I could go into create projectile with motion. And here I can actually see, I do play a sound effect somewhere. Uh, play sound right here, right now. It plays the death sound effect when I shoot, and it's probably because I, when I was creating this, I only had those two sound effects loaded up, so I just wanted to make sure something happened. Well, I can make a new sound effect called shoot and make that this zero one two, and I can make this play sound effect number two. Um, and you want to look at um, the Family Tracker tutorials on how to add music and sound effects, but it's that easy, and I just wanted to take a minute to show that to you because we haven't really looked at adding sound effects yet and I might want to do things like when I jump I play a sound effect and when I shoot I play a sound effect I might want to go to my player death script and when I die it when I actually die it plays a sound effect or when a mo when a monster officially gets hurt it plays a sound effect and you know we'll take a look at at where those things occur in the code hopefully before before too long there's going to be tethers for that kind of code like you can add on what happens when a, a monster runs into a player weapon and vice versa and that's all going to be stuff that's in that in here so we looked at those script settings you know there's going to be more things that you're just going to be able to add and more pages of these that you're going to be able to customize um, and then also edit the same way that you're editing these scripts in code that's sort of the design that's where we're going and it's just going to take us a little time to get there but for the time being um, it's it's actually pretty cool that you can you can do this kind of stuff with such limited limited code use um, so yeah i'm curious to have you guys check out some family tracker tutorials make some sounds make some sound effects and let's see if you can get them happening at random times.